Hey guys, it's Christina. So I am back with yet again another flip through of my pocket size ring planner. Um, the last setup that I had posted here on YouTube was of my Vanderspeck in Anthracite Real Ostrich, but I have since moved into my Julio Pocket XL in gold and I'm absolutely in love with this planner. Um, I had posted a flip through on my IGTV, but I know that not all of my subscribers have Instagram, so I figured I would post a flip through on here as well. Um, and I never get tired of watching flip throughs. Murphy is um, freaking out right now because my husband went for a run and he can't find him. <laughs> so you may hear him barking a few times in this video. So um, I was able to snag this planner from the Buy Sell Trade group on Facebook. It is called Julio Marketplace. Um, they oftentimes will get a lot of great stuff on there that Julio is out of stock of. So keep on the lookout, join that group so that you can snag maybe something that you've been wanting and longing for. Um, and if you're in the U.S., a lot of people in the U.S. do post things, and so you will not have to pay the custom fees, which is really awesome. And yes, I have one press-on nail. Um, I have yet to finish all of my nails. I have just been so busy. So let's go ahead and dive into this. Some things have changed, and I've added definitely a lot more things in here since the Vanderspeck setup, so I'm sure you guys will enjoy this. Um, because us planner girls can watch flip throughs all day. So um, all of this is the same. I added this. This is from an old um, Filofax pocket size that I used forever ago. That's my son when he was just born. Um, cute picture of my husband and my boys. Um, this is, still remains the same. This I added. This is a digital from Exo Carolyn Designs. You purchase the digital and then you email to her what word you want. So I had my Instagram and YouTube handle um, put on here. Make sure that when you do print on vellum that you give time to dry um, for these um, digitals because they will smear. So just be aware of that. This is from the Crescent Planner vellum. Um, this is a quote card from my sister. And this first section here is all lists and notes. So here is my big list of like big to-dos that don't have a particular due date, but I need to get done. Home projects, fun projects, um, planner goodies and shops that I want to buy things from. It gets a little, it's a little difficult to turn here in the front because this thing is so stuffed, but um, it gets easier as it goes on. And then I've got a whole bunch of extra note pages. Some things are private in here, so I don't want to show you. So this to buy is from Peanuts Planner Co. These beautiful notes pages are from SM Plans. Um, she is getting ready to like pretty much add a whole bunch of new inserts and retire a bunch of inserts. So I don't know if this is part of the thing, but please check out her shop. There's a lot of inserts that are going to be going away. So um, check that out. This is also from SM Plans. I love this note paper. And Peanuts Planner Co. And I also have one more thing from SM Plans. Where'd it go? I don't know where it went. Anyway, um, towards the back here, I don't want to show you my actual bills, but I printed out these inserts from Annie Plans Printables. And I'm literally just writing down what our bills are and the amount and checking off that it was actually paid. Um, like some of our bills fluctuate with their amount due. So I just like to total everything up at the end of the month. Um, so then that way I know how much we're actually spending each month on bills alone. And then this is maybe if I'm doing a no spend or if I have some notes that I need to take about particular bills, I can write that down on here. And I have July through December. All right, the next page, next section is my monthlies. So this is a yearly overview from SM Plans. And then all of my monthlies are from SM Plans. So this is this month. I do some decorating. Sometimes I don't. It just really depends on my mood. I just like things to look neat, especially on my monthlies, because this is like time sensitive stuff, um, things that I need to be mindful of. And I just don't want to be all confused with all of the decor. And I do forward plan with post-it notes. 
So yeah, I have July through December in here. Um, and then I have a yearly pullout from Peanuts Planner Co. And then this one has birthdays and anniversaries. I'm slowly filling this out. This is another pullout from Peanuts Planner Co. This was in her yearly bundle, the undated one. And obviously, since we're halfway through the year, I'm not using this section, but I'm going to continue using this and writing down my goals in each box um, of this. Then followed by that is, yes, I do slip my papers and sometimes they do that, but I don't mind. Um, these are inserts from SM Plans. She's going to be coming out with this. This is the monthly plan. It used to be called the tending list on her shop, um, but she read, she changed everything up and it's, I love how clean this is. But basically this is my monthly plan to achieve these goals for the month. So I will write down a quote or a mantra, my focus for the month, write down all of those goals and each at the end of each week I will highlight like progress I've made in those goals, anything that I'm tracking weekly that is goal specific and then daily tracking as well that is goal specific. I have another habit tracker for other things so this is only tracking goal specific things. If you want me to dive in um, more with how I use this insert, please comment down below and I'd be happy to do like a separate video on how I use this insert. But I do have um, July through December printed out. The next insert is my weekly. I um, went ahead and I decorated this. I love this. Um, this is just pictures of my husband and I on our wedding day and then pictures of my family. I think this was last Christmas. Um, and then this is another digital from Exo Carolyn Designs. Um, it's like weekly, daily, monthly, all of those things. Um, again, be careful when you're printing. Um, I was using, and you probably saw this in the last setup, but a week on one page. I have since moved. This was by Peanuts Planner Co. I have moved into a week on two page by Peanuts Planner Co. And this is working out so well for me. So let me explain to you how I am using this. In this section right here, I am not pre-planning my schedule. Rather, I am using this space as like an, an accountability tracker in a sense. So how I'm using it is I write down my times down here. I'm writing down like when I wake up, what I'm, and I literally write down what I do every hour throughout the day. Um, I am taking classes for loan processing so I want to make sure that I'm using my time wisely and that I'm not just journaling and playing in my planner all day. I want to make sure that I'm being productive. So the purple is journaling, planner play, me time. The yellowish orange color is like Kai's wake times just because I like to keep track of that. He is too um, and I want to make sure he's getting enough sleep. He does take a nap sometimes so you'll see that in the middle here. And then this bluish greenish color is things that are like productive. So like running errands, doing classwork, working out, filming for my YouTube videos, those types of things. And the things that are not highlighted are like dinner. Like why would I highlight that? Um, and all that stuff. So that's how I'm using it. I am not able to schedule my day like before because I have a two year old. I The day is just so fluid. Um, I just try to get the things done that I need to get done. But prior to using this, I found that I was like spending a lot more time journaling, a lot more time just messing around rather than focusing on the things that need to get done. So I was very productive this week. I'm really enjoying that. Down here is my cleaning tracker, dishes, zone cleaning, all that good stuff. Right here, I'm using this for time sensitive things um, and events that are happening. You'll see more stuff written on here on the in the next week. To do's that I want to get done during the week, and then our meals, and then what Kai will eat. Sometimes he'll eat what we eat. Sometimes he doesn't. This week he was obsessed with mashed potatoes. <laughs> He's two and a half. Like what can you do? All right. So that this is this week. Um. So yeah, I I don't highlight it as the day goes on. I'll like write down what I'm doing and then highlight it at the end of the night. As you can see, a lot more appointments and things that need to get done, um, to-dos, this stuff, and yeah. So I'm really enjoying this insert. 
Um, and look at, that is just so satisfying to me. I absolutely love it. So I have three months worth of inserts in here of these Peanuts Planner Co. Week on Two page. And I will link all shops down below, like I said. So um, I'm still working this out, but this is my zone cleaning tracker. Um, I just don't want to miss anything as I'm doing my zones. So like I will write down the things I have to do in each zone and then write down the date here. I don't know if you can see it. Like J is July the 20th. This was yesterday and I need to vacuum the rooms, wipe down the counters and then like just tidy the room. Um, the kitchen, of course, is a little bit more serious, <laughs> but um, that's today's zone. And I will literally write down the date at the top and then check off as I'm doing things, if that makes any sense. So I have one of these written out for each zone and this um, insert is from Simple and Trendy Co. So I'm really enjoying that. And on the back of the insert, I have printed out a monthly task list from SM Plans and I'm using this for those inserts that, um, I mean, not, not those inserts, those cleaning things that need to be done once a month um, and not daily. So like cleaning the windows, the baseboards, all that stuff. So the next section here is going to be my daily. There's not much to it. Um, I made this a long time ago for a traveler's notebook. Um, I cut off the back page and just added it in here. It has a little pocket. Um, this is another thing from Exo Carolyn Designs. And here we are. So dailies. I'm not, I don't need a timed daily as this, because I'm using timed sheets here in my weekly. I'm just literally writing down what I need to do in any appointments I have on a daily. That's it. And these are my daily pages. And these inserts are from Simple and Trendy Co. And just like in my B6 Stylogy, here we are on today, um, not my B6 Stylogy, my A6 Stylogy, once the day has been completely, completely processed and there is no um, leftover like tasks, I will put a heart on the bottom to signify that the page has been processed and there's nothing else that needs to be moved. So here we are on today. And then this um, clip is from Peony's Papery. All right, and then I have a month's worth of inserts in here. The next section is probably my favorite section. It is my wellness section. These are the, um, this is from SM Plans. All right, this is my sleep log. This is from Alibi Designs. Um, I literally just highlight my sleep. I do wake up frequently during the night, but I do not mark all of that stuff. I will just literally block off, I mean, highlight the, like the time frame that I slept. And then I have uh, July through December in here. Bellum from Hobby Lobby. This is that habit tracker that I mentioned in the beginning for all tasks. Yes, I do track all of these goal specific things. Again, I just love tracking stuff. Um, and then my medications that I have to take daily. And again, I have July through December in here. And the sticker is from, these monthly stickers are from Virgo and Paper. Hobby Lobby. Um, I have to fill this out yet, but this is my goals and reward sheet from Peanuts Planner Co. I'm going to write my current weight, my weight goal, and then each square here is going to um, equal a pound. And every time I lose a pound, I'm going to highlight the box, signifying that I've already lost that pound. I do want to lose 20 pounds, so this will be a fun way to track it. And if I want to challenge myself, I will write down, oops, didn't mean to shake the camera, um, like a goal. So let's say in August, I want to lose five pounds. Um, I'll write down five pounds. Goal is August 31st. The reward I will give myself for losing the five pounds and then check it off once I've achieved it. Um, and then the weight log, I just printed it on the back, also from Peanuts Planner Co. This is my menu and workouts. I'm really enjoying this insert, guys. This is... Um, also from Peanuts Planner Co., I will literally write my breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, any workouts I did, and then my, um, any notes I have. So like I was on my period, which explains why I was snacking so much. I only got 4.5 hours of sleep. That's why I was like craving sugar. And I just want to know like anything I'm feeling physically definitely affects how I eat and I want to keep track 
of that. Down here is my water intake. I try to drink in 100 ounces. So this only has eight boxes. So I just made this another 10 ounces, another 10 ounces. And then if I complete it, 100. And then another habit tracker that is specific to fitness. And here we are on this week. As you can see, I did 100 ounces yesterday. <laughs> Um, and then I printed out several of these. I don't know how many I printed out, but quite a bit. This is my workout tracker. So this is a yearly log from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, I will write down the type of workout I did, highlight it in the color that's from this key so that when I look at this, I will be able to know like, yo, Christina, you've been doing way too much cardio. You need to do some strength training. Um, and that way I can make sure I'm doing you know, a varied amount of exercises. I should probably take this out because I haven't been following it. This is a workout calendar from Nourish Move Love. My fitness tracker from SM Plans. Um, I just write down the workout I did, how long I did it, and the warm up and the cool down. Um, this is new too. This is from Annie Plans Printables. Um, she has this in pocket plus size. This is a freebie, I believe. So I'm literally doing... Um, highlighting if you bring it closer highlighting how many steps I did the pink is when I don't achieve that 10,000 goal and if I do achieve the 10,000 goal I will highlight in green I just love trackers <laughs> and so that is yep July through December another piece of vellum um well actually this was a digital from loft and main co and I printed this out on vellum and then this is my gratitude section. So just literally a line per day. Um, these are from SM Plans and I have July through December. You should, guys should be like taking a sip of something every time I say July through December because I say it a lot. Also from Left at Main Co, I liked this layering thing. So um, this is her a digital from her and then this crown digital is from her as well. And then this um, last section here is reference whoops so reference and youtube planning um i don't want to show you what i'm doing in my content planning because things are surprises but yeah here we go um so this is content planner from peanuts planner co i'm really enjoying these inserts um once i've completed something actually you know what here i can show you this this is how i'm using them I'm writing down the date that I'm posting it. If it's posted, I will highlight it. Um, I will write down things that I wanna make sure I'm saying in my video and then check them off as I do it. Um, yeah, really enjoying these inserts. And I have several of those packed in there. When I get to the back here, I have to like lift up some pages to be able to turn it so it doesn't get stuck. Um, mentioned this before, this is my handbags tracker. It's basically a monthly tracker from SM Plans. I have my handbags listed here and every time I use it in a particular month, I, I mark it down. So then that way at the end of the year, I can take a look at this and see if there's a bag I did not pick up at all and um, ask myself if I should sell it or um, remind myself that I need to pick it up and use it, if that makes any sense. All right, makeup reference, still have to fill that out. Book log, uh, vehicle maintenance, these are my online orders. I don't want to show you. <laughs> yeah, my online order tracker from SM Plans. And then last but not least, my family medical information. It's just a page per family member. And um, I can write down like who our dentist is, uh, medications that any of us are taking, and yada yada. Um, it's just good to have that on hand. Picture of my son when he was a newborn. Um, card from Kai's doctor and then cards from my husband another card from my husband another note from my husband uh, yeah he likes to write me notes this pen that I'm using is from pen gems um, and I'm using a it's like a fine point basically it is a hybrid of a gel and a roller ball I believe um, and I like it because it dries fast but it still puts down a pretty a pretty good line um, and I never have any issues with like the ink stopping or something. So I really enjoy that pen. I've been using this for like six, five years. <laughs> I love these pens. All right. So this was a long video because I had a lot to share. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below um, and ask me, or you can follow me on Instagram at the Miss Mrs. Mom um, and DM me there as well. I I tend to respond quicker on there, although my messages have been getting backed up. Um, so if it takes me a day, it takes me a day, but I promise I will get back to you um, in some way, shape, or form. All right, guys, she is super chunky. Um, I'm really enjoying her. I do share on my Instagram a planner hack. Basically, I trim the center here of my inserts um, so that they don't interfere and I can stuff it even more. Um, you can check that out on my Instagram in my highlights. Yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. I know, another setup, but like I said, planner girls never get tired of setups. Am I right? Um, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Until next time, see ya!